For question 3b, we're being asked to evaluate the integral from 1 to 6 under the graph of g of x. So we are taking this area from 1 to 6, and we're going to find this area. Now we need to break this up into two different sections because one is under, these are, this is a piecewise function. So we are going to find the area from 1 to 3 separately from the area of, from 1, from 3 to 6. Okay, so we're going to take two separate integrals here. So looking like this, we're going to find this is going to be equal to the chain, the integral from 1 to 3 under the g function plus the area from 3 to 6 under the g function, which the is described as, and we're given the quadratic for this. So I'm just going to write this in terms of this quadratic. The quadratic is 2x minus 4 squared dx. Okay, so then looking at the first part, the area underneath that curve from 1 to 3, that area is just this square area here, so that area is 4 units plus. This becomes the antiderivative. We're going to use the antiderivative to find the area here. So we're going to anti-differentiate this. So this is going to be 2 times. The antiderivative is going to be x minus 4 to the power of 3 over 3. And then we're going to evaluate this from 3 to 6. So this becomes 4 plus. When I plug this in, I'm going to take my 2 thirds. That coefficient outside. And then substituting in x is 6. We get 6 minus 4 cubed minus 3 minus 4 cubed. Okay, so finding all these different parts, we have the area 4 plus 2 thirds times this becomes 8 minus negative 1. And so 4 plus 2 thirds times 9 that gives us a total area. This is going to be 4 plus 6, or an area of 10 units. Okay, so we end up with this uh, the value of the air or the area underneath the curve from 1 to 6 is going to be 10 units. There's three marks from this. <clears throat> One mark is splitting at x equals 3. The other mark is the antiderivative of 2x minus 4 squared, and the third mark is for the final answer of 10 units.